High up in the Arctic Circle, a predator clings on for survival against persistent snow and blizzards in Ice Age Canada, a hyena. The discovery of a fossil has revealed these beasts roam 2,500 miles north of anywhere they had been previously known from. Africa is like an enclave of Ice Age ecology, being a refuge for giant mammals and also large carnivores that have died out in other areas. Hyenas are the most successful carnivores that live there currently and it is difficult to imagine them without a savannah backdrop, but they are actually very well known from the northern hemisphere in prehistoric times. And now it is known that hyenas existed at the top of the world, hunting and scavenging on caribou and maybe even mammoths. Despite looking and acting like canids, hyenas are actually more closely related to felines than they are to dogs. Specifically, they are from a group of animals called feliforms that contain felines and the animals that are more closely related to felines than canids. Cats would eventually split from this group, leaving the non-felid feliforms that are known as viveroidea, which contain animals like mongoose, meerkats, fooses, and hyenas. This group is named after the family Viveridae, as they are the oldest and most primitive family in the group and where the other animals would have evolved from. Viverids include animals like Bincherong, Jeanettes, as well as the African civet that bared resemblance to primitive hyenas. During the Eocene, most carnivorans were tree climbers, but would eventually start to come down from the trees, which is what happened with hyenas. The earliest hyena known was called Protictotherium, and unlike its descendants, had retractable claws and probably spent a lot of time in the trees. It most likely lived a lot like the members of the Viveridae family do today. Early hyenas started to evolve a more ground-dwelling lifestyle, developing longer legs, larger bodies, or losing their retractable claws around 20 million years ago, and became very successful about 15 million years ago. The first successful hyenas were more dog-like than the current species. They had lighter builds and possessed very canid-looking skulls. One species, called Ictotherium viverinus, had a skeleton very similar to that of a jackal. These hyenas would have filled niches very similar to the ones that are filled by canids today. It was around 10 million years ago when hyenas would develop their most famous trick of bone crushing to get at the nutrient-rich marrow, scientifically known as osteophagia. They adapted a strong bite force with modern-day spotted hyenas having the same bite force as a lion despite being less than half the size. And in addition to this, they had strong stomach acids that helped digest scavenged carcasses. One of the first of these specialised bone-crushing hyenas was called Adcrocuta, which diverged from the more dog-like hyenas and very quickly started to see a lot of success. There was in fact another group of very hyena-like animals known as Persrocutidae that were already fulfilling this niche, which the hyenas quickly dominated. The transition that hyenas took mirrored that of canids that were evolving in North America around the same time, if not a bit earlier. They evolved from tree dwellers and their earliest members like Hesperus scion had retractable claws that they would later lose. And one of the subfamilies in the canid group known as Borophaginae had many species that had similar adaptations to eat bones to hyenas. During the Miocene, canids were both evolving to occupy the dog niches on their respected continents. However, this changed when the Bering Strait opened up, connecting North America and Asia. Canids flooded into Eurasia and very quickly outcompeted the dog-like hyenas occupying their niches. But they weren't able to compete with the bone-crushing hyenas. The only dog-like hyena that survived the onslaught is the Aardwolf, that can be traced back to the dog-like lineage and are not closely related to other hyenas. Very unusually for dog-like animals, they are insectivorous, surviving mainly from licking up termites outside their mounds. This specialty lifestyle is most likely what allowed them to survive and kept them out of direct competition with the canids. The bone-crushing hyenas reached their peak in the Pliocene about 3 million years ago, where their range stretched far further than today. In 1821, remains of many different animals, including an elephant and a hippo, were found in a cave in the north of England. Among these animals were several hyenas that may have brought the other animal remains into the cave to feed on them. These hyena fossil sites can be found in many places throughout Europe, and are in fact one of the most common Ice Age carnivores. They are known as cave hyenas, and are in fact a European subspecies of the spotted hyena that only lives in Africa today. They probably look quite similar, if not for slight differences in leg length. However, cave hyenas were far larger, perhaps weighing a third more than the currently living spotted hyenas. These cave hyenas were not the largest hyena though, as that title would go to Pachycrocuta, more commonly referred to as the giant short-faced hyena that could grow up to a metre at the shoulder, approaching the same size as a lioness. They are thought to have been very social like modern-day hyenas, and possessed a kleptoparasitic lifestyle, surviving by stealing the prey of other carnivores similar to the striped hyena today. 
Included in their choice of prey may have been archaic humans, as there is a fossil that belongs to Homo erectus that has wounds thought to have been caused by a giant hyena. This scavenging lifestyle was probably forced upon them due to their very large size, making them ill-suited for hunting down prey over long distances. This is in stark contrast to modern day spotted hyenas that can run some of the longest distances out of any animal, and despite the commonly held belief, obtain most of their prey via hunting. It is thought that competition with spotted hyena or cave hyenas is what drove the giant hyenas to extinction as they died out soon after their appearance on the continent about half a million years ago. Ancient hyenas ranged across Eurasia and Africa but also into North America, being found as far south as Mexico. But out of the some 70 species of prehistoric hyenas now known, only one made it to America, Chasmapolthetes, also known as the running hyena. This was the hyena that was found in the Arctic, making it clear the hyenas got to North America from crossing the Bering Strait like many other animals. These creatures were found so far north, and the climate may have been even harsher back then that it is sensible to assume they may have made several adaptations to this lifestyle. They probably had thicker fur and may have adapted a white coat like many polar animals. Chasmapolthetes died out about 700,000 years ago, and nearly all non-African species of hyena disappeared at the end of the last glacial period about 11,000 years ago. The climate would have become wetter due to there being less water locked up in glaciers, turning some grassland into forests and changing the preferred habitat of the hyena, which probably led to their demise. So not only did hyenas inhabit far colder regions than we would associate with them, but the warming of the climate may have been what led to their extinction. A massive thank you goes to David van der Roost, Fuzzleworth, and Karim, and all my other patrons for their support. If you would like to support me as well, then you can go to www.patreon.com forward slash mothlightmedia and make a pledge. If you enjoyed the video and would like to be notified of future content, then consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.